Hello, and welcome to another Clone Wars review. Clone review. Now I must say, uh, this is going to be a little different as I don't have my mic. It died on me. So while I'm waiting for a new one, I'm going to have to use my headset mic. I don't know, what the, the quality should be fine. It, it sounds pretty good. I had a Discord call last night and there weren't any problems with it there. So I'm going to try and treat it as best I can with audacity. And I hope that it still sounds good for you. This is episode 7, Dangerous Debt. When I first saw the clip that they released on Disney, I figured, oh shit, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty crap. But it turns out that I actually liked it quite a lot. Now this episode, it, it starts with the three, the gang, the three amigos, they're in jail. So Trace didn't think her first job would end with her in a prison cell. I don't think anyone does. I mean, my first job was doing like waitering at a hotel. And I certainly didn't think that would end up in jail, so I think that's a pretty fair assumption to make. But when you are dealing with Spice, it is a possibility. <laughs> Obviously, because the, the, the reason they're in jail is because Trace decided to jettison the Spice. Rafa and Ahsoka still argue about this. None of them thought that she should jettison the Spice. They all thought, yo, just we keep it and either it goes to the, the Pikes or like a medical organisation of some sort. But obviously Trace jettisoned it and that's why they've been arrested. So this leads to another argument between Ahsoka and Rafa about what, the, the morality, I guess, of the Spice and whether it, they should have done what they did or whether they should have even taken a job to pick up Spice in the first place. So they argue, um, and at the end of this argument, Rafa calls Ahsoka a Jedi because of like her high morale stance on this whole Spice issue. And then Ahsoka jokingly says, well, what if I am? And then this leads to the kind of big development. Well, there's two big developments, in my opinion, of this episode. This is the first one, and it's the the Jedi are the reason that we never see Trace and Rafa's parents and why they have to fend for themselves. And I was like, oh, shit. Because this, is, this actually shows like a connection between the events of the Clone Wars and how that affects the people of the wider galaxy. Because we, we never really touch on that. It's never really brought up brought up or touched upon and it's actually quite an interesting like um, thought because the reason Trace and Rafa's parents died ties us back to when we see Zero getting broken out of jail on Coruscant with Cad Bane and that. Now that was a sick couple of episodes may I add but during Zero's escape Cad Bane shoots, one, uh, shoots down like a, a freighter I believe or some sort of transport ship and as it's spiralling down the portal in the middle of Coruscant, it's about to hit a landing platform that's populated with loads of people, but the Jedi managed to divert it and crash it into a wall instead. However, behind that wall was Trace and Rafa's parents, and they died, and they blamed the Jedi for their deaths. And what makes it even worse is afterwards, a Jedi came up to them and said that the Force will be with them. It shows the Jedi aren't really the best moral standpoint in the galaxy they're pretty shitty oh yeah just the, the force will be with you yeah it's a bit shit in it and that's ahsoka's like ah oh, shit i never really considered that anyway after this little uh, development the pikes come to get rafa obviously ahsoka tries to stop them but she gets electrocuted and uh, they manage to take they yeet trace against the wall and they manage to take rafa and take to get interrogated now this interrogation scene was both creepy well, it was just creepy, really. <laughs> I was going to say, and cool, but it wasn't really cool at all. So, obviously, they want to know where the spice is. And Rafa's there making excuses while strapped to an interrogation bench. And then this fucking creepy torture droid walks in. Or waddles in, or shuffles in. And he he looks kind of cool, but also very creepy. The Clone Wars has gotten a bit darker since we last saw it, because we literally see her getting zapped by this droid and her screaming in pain. It was fucking mental. After this, they bring Baf Rafa back to the cell and it's obvious that she's been drained and shocked for minutes on end, probably. We don't know the passage of time, so we can't really say. But then they come in and take Trace. Ahsoka again tries to stop them from taking Trace, but fucking gets shocked again. And they manage to take Trace. And then this is where it kind of... This is where the prison break part of the episode starts. So they're taking Trace to the same interrogation place with the same droid. And the droid's bad again already, getting all ready to shock up Trace, and then she faints. And I was like, what the fuck? Did she just faint? But she didn't faint, and she manages to grab a gun, shoot a couple pikes. She's she's a pretty good shot. 
because we don't know if she's had any blaster training. I wouldn't think so, but she's a pretty good shot, to be fair. She gets about three of them and then runs out of there. And she's running through the prison. Um, loads of pikes start chasing after her. And she runs into one of this pike rounds corner, she runs into it. She falls down. And he grabs her. And they're right next to a cell with a hammerhead and a weak way in it. They're like, hey, free us! So she tries her best to try and maneuver and try to kick the thing open, which she does, and there's like a moment it's like, oh, as it opens and the hammerhead fucking beats up the pike, that was sick. I thought they were going to do like a massive prison break, but it was only those two. And while this is all going on, Ahsoka, while Rafa's knocked out, Ahsoka uses the force to open the prison cell and then gets Rafa to get up. And she's like, how did this happen? And Ahsoka's like, <laughs> Ahsoka just blames it on a power outage. She should, she could have just said it wasn't us. She could have just said it like, oh, it was like, Trace did it while she was running. But no, she blames it on a power outage and theirs was the only one that was affected or some shit. Mad. So yeah, they run in. They run in. They manage to, eventually they manage to meet up, run into each other, have a little argument as which way to go. Ahsoka takes them to the exit. Um, they throw down a couple barrels, a couple boxes, blow up the barrels, blow up at least like four pikes. And then they start running across this platform. I don't know where it takes them, but they're just running and then it starts... So it's, to, um, so it's like this, and then it, one of them like does that, so they have to jump. So Rafa goes first, she makes it, Trace has a run up, she falls, but Ahsoka uses the force to push her up, none the wiser, and then Ahsoka does a fucking massive leap over them. They run into the city park. Yeah, they've kind of lost the pikes at this point, and then this, um, this guy asks if they've got any coins, but Rafa kind of insults him and says no. So he's like, oh fuck, that was weird. Trace has seen her ship, she's seen the Silver Angel, but Rafa's like, no, we'll just find any ship we can. But obviously, Rafa doesn't want to leave the Silver Angel, it's her life's work, or whatever. And at this point, the, the guy that asks for money, he asks the Pikes for money, but then he's like, oh shit, it's the Pikes. And then he sees they're looking for Ahsoka, Rafa, and Trace, and obviously, because he's seen them, and they didn't give any money, so he's like, yo, how much is it worth? Because I've seen them. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, he doesn't do exactly that, but that's... That's essentially what he does. Yeah, it's during this city point that we see Bo-Katan. I was like, holy shit, she looks sick. Because she's wearing a Mandalorian armor, but it's covered with like a nice robe, and it looks fucking cool. Helmets and robes are a very cool combination. So she's like, she, obviously she's met Ahsoka before. She met them on a planet somewhere that I can't remember the name of. So they get ratted out and found again. While Trace and Rafa are captured, Ahsoka manages to escape, and as she's escaping we see Bo-Katan and two other Mandalorians on a rooftop, kind of tracking Ahsoka, talking about if it may be her and how they're going to jeopardise whatever plans the Mandalorians have with the Pikes or on the Pike planet, so they, they, they keep an eye on Ahsoka. Now I, I feel like next episode they're going to break them out of prison because at the end of this episode they get put back in prison after another, after another daring escape they get put back in prison. And I was like, holy shit, Mandalorians, that's fucking sick. So we might see a little bit of a Mandalorian pike war in the next episode. I always feel like these Clone Wars episodes aren't long enough, but then against the Clone Wars, they've always been about this length. That just leaves me wanting more. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was not going to be my favourite, but it turns out it's, it's up there with my favourites of the new season. So I'm very happy with it. And I like the inclusion of like the wider Clone Wars, because we, see, we saw Zero's escape. And it kind of talks about how that affects the civilians. And also seeing Bo-Katan and the Mandaroids was also very sick. So yeah. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe down below. I'm giving away a TF2 Unusual at 1000 subscribers. So if you play TF2, you don't want to miss that. I know most of my subscribers do. Did you enjoy the episode? Tell me down below. And uh, this mic issue should be fixed by next episode. See you. Peace. <laughs> peace. <laughs> See you guys later. Hey, oh, uh. Uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy by just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.